Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 18. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, we are on to the second race now. We are on the Daytona Road Course. And we're going to see how fast this Veyron actually goes. Hopefully, it's going to be very quick. I don't like the purple color I painted it, though. It's grown on me. I didn't like it initially. Oh, look, two skylines. I love skylines. Right. Slowing down for this one. There you go, you see the stalks sticking through the side. The glitch is still there. And I forgot to break. Sorting out my audio. We can't even restart. <laughs> Go. Oh, yeah, I'm not too keen on this track. Let's go this camera angle. That's much better. Right, let's see the top speed now. Listening out to the engine. Listening for winter shift. 218 we managed to hit. I don't even think our Ford GT can do that. And our Ford GT is right. Nearly completely lost it through that. up again. up again. I hate this track. I hate Daytona. Daytona's a horrible track. Like, it's a good oval. It's the best oval out there. But the road course is just disgusting. And it's not good for a car that's too quick. Here we go. I tried braking earlier. I think that's the only option I really have. Nice. Two 
17 we got. Pressure coming from those turbos though in this car must be ridiculous. Come on, come on. Nice. as well flat out. It wasn't perfect but we did get some speed through there. And coming across the finish line. Oh I tried to do a handbrake turn at the end. That was disappointing. That was really disappointing, that end. Right, on to the next race. Right, so we are here at the Grand Valley Speedway. We're going to be doing a 15.36 miles. And what I've done is I've actually bumped up my traction control just slightly. Yes, I, I know it might be cheating, but... Uh, I think this car needs a little bit of extra uh, control under the throttle. Because my control just isn't good enough. Look at that. The car's gone. Third gear throw here, up into 
more, shifting it down to first for this corner. Why am I shifting down to first? Here we go, and shift down to first for this corner. Right, the S-Bend is coming up soon. Oh, slow down very hard there. Nice. Tricky aspect here. Awesome. Right, let's see how much speed we can get for this one. We couldn't have hit 200 with the Ford, but the Bugatti has managed to hit 200. I feel like we need to take that. Um, as a two-stage braking zone as well. Because if we don't brake on that first one, we will end up probably booking a table for two. The Bugatti Veyron, right, is such a fast car that it was like the world's fastest car for like, how long? At nearly 10 years.
they manage to fit nearly a thousand cars in a game, I will never know. I don't even think there's a documentary on like, how they made this game, or any of the Gran Turismo's for that matter. Slidey. Very good, very nice. Here we go. Awesome. Make sure we get the car round the corners. Right now, it's time to go on to the next race. Ooh, look at that money. Nice. And the XP. Right, we are here at the special stage, Route 5. We have 11.77 miles to go to drive. Whatever you want to say. But look at that Bugatti. We've got our high beams on. And we are off. for that section on the uh, next lap. Slow down for this hairpin over here. Kept an eye out for that corner again. 
again and got it pretty nailed actually. best light we've taken through that corner so far and it was still terrible I have a feeling when you get into the more powerful cars it gets a little bit too much nice Surprised actually um, getting the Bugatti as a reward because I thought um, you would sort of have to buy it. Does that make sense? Like buy it from the um, dealership or the used car dealership, standard car. Lights reflected off the bonnet. There we go. Properly took that corner that time. And then crashed right on the exit. That 
that is a really cool thing. And finish across the line. Look at that, Veyron, first place again. Right, on to the final race of the championship now. Let's go. Right, we are here in Tokyo on the R246 track for our final race in the Veyron. Let's do this. I don't think I'm going to be driving this again. Obviously, I'm going to be driving it later. But um, in sort of the story, I don't think I'll be driving this again just because of how one overpowered it is. It's ridiculous and pointless. Um, but two, the tyres get shredded. Uh, it's a little bit over the top for a lot of the tracks in the game. So, yeah, it's... It probably won't be continuing uh, this car for any more of the episodes of the series. But obviously, I had to get a couple of races done with it. That was mandatory. We needed to do that. Taking the Tokyo track really well. It's taking this Tokyo track really well. Careful. Nice. To be fair, I don't think we even need to shift much. Oh! Yes, I may have crashed. Very nicely done through here, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tires are going again. They're overheating. 
I have a feeling I've upgraded my tires today. Uh, upgraded my. Well, everything. Probably wasn't a good idea. Stick it closer towards the right. At this section here. Oh, even then. That was pushing it. Perfect. Finish. Let's see, what did we get? 8 minutes 19.5. Jeez. These races are really long. Really, really long. And there, we're going to save that replay as well, because that was a really good replay. And trophy. How much money? 84,000. A little bit disappointing, but okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also, we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.